There's nothing like chilling with my girls. Just me and my divas taking over the world. to be about a half wig of course um, which is available at elevatestyles.com so last week I did a half wig by the brown sugar collection which is by main concept which is formerly known as the Isis brand okay so this is one of their perfect edge human hairstyle mix half wigs so if you guys know a half wig is you gotta pull a little bit of hair out I mean not always not necessarily but the one thing that I like the most about these half wigs is the fact that there's like this really thin band area right here like super thin and it's like a little bit of a lace monofilament and then the comb sits back but it's really flat where it sits unlike a lot of other half wigs they're very bulky the combs are normally plastic which makes them even more bulkier and they sit right here on the edge which allows you to kind of have like a hump and just makes blending a little bit more tedious so with theirs they lay super flat they do have the metal combs in the nape area as well as a drawstring so honeys make sure you tuck this away so this one is the perfect edge number five the color is a little bit different not my normal color this um may be a little bit tricky to blend for some it all depends on how you situate your hair so i did get a couple emails from some ladies that were like basically their hair is not thick enough their hair will not match the wig texture it's a little bit harder for them to wear half wigs and they do love to wear headbands but which headband is going to work for them so let me tell y'all i went and found some headbands because for one i like headbands i kept going back to the dollar tree trying to find some really good headbands but trust and believe there was no luck. I figured for this video with this wig, I'm not really like a huge fan of it. It just has a lot going on. So I'm going to just finger comb this bad boy out. Because I really wasn't too fond of the black sitting right on the burgundy. Or whatever color you want to call this. It just looks like it was thrown up there. Okay. And sometimes with wigs like this, you got to put on a headband and call it a day. You know what I mean? Because there's really not much you can do with it but just try to conceal it the best you can. I think sometimes putting a headband on is a little bit less noticeable, especially if you have like a bad wig. You don't really want to bring too much attention to yourself. Honey, don't bring too much attention to yourself. Okay, so say your hair is not prepared. Back in the days, I used to sleep with all kind of little perm rods and all kind of things to make my hair mimic the actual wig. But I didn't do that for the sole purpose of this video because some women say even if they did that, it still doesn't work. You can do this with any half wigs. It doesn't have to be this one, but this one is a lot easier. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and put it on. And as you see, I didn't leave any hair out. I got this, um, what do you call this, wig grip band on. You don't need that neither, but I already had it on, so I'm going to just leave it on. And I'm going to put the wig, like, right here. Depending on where you want it to be at, some people like it a little bit further in the back. It's basically up to you. So I'm going to just put it right here. Make sure you pull the drawstring, okay? Okay, so that makes it a nice and tight. Now, look, it's a lot of hair for one, and the color is not that appealing. So me, personally, I try to just stick with neutral colors because I don't want a lot of attention brought to me from the wig as it is. So I try to stick with, like, cute little headbands. So I did pick up some of these. I got these from Dollar tree i mean excuse me not dollar tree from family dollar really inexpensive you can get three four of these for a dollar fifty so with these i love them when they're wide like this because they just give you a little bit more security especially if you have like your hair like this now these are like the nylon ones which are really great you don't have to worry about it getting onto your but try to avoid your makeup on your face because you just see that i do have a little bit of makeup on there Headbands like this are really cute because it conceals the band and your hair. So that way it looks neutral or natural as possible. As natural as it's going to look, okay? But one, like I said, the wig is a lot to deal with. So, yes. You can also do all kind of things. Once you put the headband on, you can kind of like 
being that the, the headband is kind of like a, a great concealer, you can also just bun it up if you wanted to, like, put it in a ponytail or bun or whatever, and kind of give yourself, like, a look like this. With wide headbands like so, they make it just really, really possible to conceal a lot. So this is, like, a really great headband. I would definitely look for these. These, like I said, were at Family Dollar. Okay, you can get these from the Dollar Tree. I think you get, like, ten of them. Now, these, I would not say are good for this type of wig because it's definitely going to show but I will show you how I do wear these also I did see some of these which are the rubber ones now these may get a little wide but now these did come from family dollar as well I got a black and a brown one it came as a set now these aren't too bad you will cover up some but it still gives the illusion of kind of like a wig and I want as much coverage as possible just to hide it. You can also find these as well, but for certain hairstyles and certain half wigs, you have to wear certain headbands. So this is one that I would wear, but not particularly with my hair like this. So I did get a bunch of these as well, which are just as wide and they work just as nice if you like a little bit of texture in it. But I also did see these which are more or less like the head kind of wrap type things. They look like the um, turbans, but they're headbands. Now these are at Family Dollar for $1.25. I don't think these are my favorite, but neither is the wig. Now, now here's another way that you could wear your wig. Now remember. Okay, so this is my own natural hair. I want to take the wig. Now normally my hair would be blended really well for the half wig, but let's just say this is a straight half wig. You know, you guys asked me to show you different ways you could wear it. If you were to say have your hair out in the front, I'm going to use one of these first because these will make my hair lay flatter than most. Then what I do is I take one of these, so I'm going to use this one for the sake of the video so you can see the difference stop all the clocks i'll be with you you're all i think about pull me apart if you have to but you're all that i think about tell me you care you you're all that i think about think about you about you about you so, in my opinion, headbands for half wigs all depends on how you wear your hair. As you've seen, I did show you my slicked back version. Um, I would only wear my hair out if it was to blend properly, and even so, I still might wear a headband because it's really, really hot outside out here. But I think like the really best headbands for like half wigs are ones that are really going to conceal. So I would definitely look into going to like Family Dollar, sometimes Dollar Tree, depending on your region, and getting like the wider, more stretchable headbands. These smaller ones that I showed you, the thinner ones, they're really great too but they're good for if you're going to leave some of your hair out and then you want to make sure that your hair lays flat and then you can put a regular size thicker headband on or you can wear it like that but either way I love the wider ones because it just conceals more so but also for half wigs this brand right here main concepts brown sugar the perfect edge they're very um, easier to blend, so keep that in mind, and they're just less noticeable. So I do like the fact that the way they kind of like constructed theirs is totally different from the rest. So definitely check out Elevate Styles for the main concept half wigs. They do have a nice selection. This one is the number five. It's pretty big, and like I said, when you have like a bad wig and it's not really tameable all over, definitely throw a headband on with it and you can rock it out. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope it was helpful for those who have asked me about headbands and how to blend. They don't have like the hair texture to blend with certain half wigs, but they rather wear headbands. Then definitely check out Family Dollar, Dollar Tree, or Dollar General. Really inexpensive. So I love you guys. All the info for this half wig will be posted for you guys below. Definitely check out the main concepts, brown sugar, perfect edge half wigs because I'm really impressed with them as well. And I will see you in a soon to come video. I love you guys. Make sure you thumbs up because you love me and I'll see you soon.